What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day nine of 100 for Onshape. Uh, today, we're making a coffee cup using the shell feature, but before we get there, I'm going to use some other features talked about in earlier videos. So if I do those too quickly, um, feel free to watch those other videos. We're going to do a little bit of everything we've done so far um, to show how to use the shell feature well. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is go back to the main hub and we're going to click on create and document and this is where we're going to make a coffee cup. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is create the body of my cup and so on my top plane right here we're just going to start a sketch, right click, view normal to and this allows us to see straight on and I'm just going to make the overall shape of my coffee cup. Now, my coffee cup I've measured, uh, I roughly estimated my better word. Um, this probably looks like it's three and a half inches in diameter. And we're gonna just click done there. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna extrude this out. So Shift E, where you can click the extrude button. And I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit and just bring this on up about four and a half inches. And that looks okay. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is now create the handle, but we're gonna do this, create this handle by using the sweep feature. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a sketch on this front plane. So sketch, front plane, and then view normal too. And this is gonna be the path for my handle. But right now my front plane goes through my coffee cup body, and I need to be able to see what's going on here. So what I'm gonna do is right click on that body, and then I'm gonna, click on make transparent. So this allows me to see where it is in reference of what I'm doing. And so with that, I am just gonna make a simple three point arc for my coffee cup. So top, there's the bottom, and we're just gonna do a nice little arc like that. I know you could probably make it a little more easier for handle's sake, but um, just for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna go with anything too complicated. All right, so we got my, uh, profile or as my path for this but now we need to do our profile what is that handle actually going to look like so what i'm going to do is right click and make this transparent again and then what i'm also going to do is uh, we're going to do an offset plane from the right and so what we're going to do here is we're just going to match this up to be that our line is going to intersect on the plane Reason being is that since we're doing a sweep profile, we need the profile to be intersecting on that path. Uh, it doesn't really matter where, because it'll follow it. It's pretty smart at what it does, but it has to be at least touching. So I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit, and that looks okay. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is click okay on that plane. Oh, no, I didn't click okay, let's try that again. So let's do right click. I'm gonna hide that plane. Hide the front plane, right click, and let's do an offset plane from our right. That looks about okay. Click okay. <clears throat> and we're looking good so far. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, hide all other planes except for um, the one I need for my profile, just so it's a little bit easier to manipulate. So I'm gonna click on sketch, we're gonna click on this plane, this plane and right click view normal too. So this profile, I'm just gonna do a simple circle, just because um, it's just quick, quick and easy and I'm not too concerned about anything. I'm gonna eyeball what that thickness is gonna look like uh, and then click okay. So now we got my profile, now we got my path, so I can do a sweep. So we're gonna do is uh, sweep path profile. And there we go. So you pick on the profile, click on the sweep path, click on your line, and then click OK. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna exit make transparent, and we've got our coffee cup so far. Looks all right. The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and hide all planes because I really don't need that anymore. And let's add a bevel on the bottom of our cup. So let's gonna click on chamfer. I'm gonna rotate to the bottom. And 
add my chamfer in. You can make it a little bit bigger if you want to. And then I'm going to click on the top side here and let's add a bevel. That way it's a nice smooth the rim. And the next thing I'm going to do is also make that just a little bit thicker. So let's, uh, let's do 375. All right, that looks okay. Then click done. All right, now on to the new feature. Now, shell's really easy to use. Once you've got the outside part of your body done, what's it gonna do is kind of a pumpkin carve out the insides with using this shell feature. So I'm gonna click on shell, and we're gonna click on the face that we want to remove completely. And when it does that, click okay. Let's try this again, shell. Shell thickness, let's do 0 0.25, and there we go. Alrighty, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We now have our coffee cup. It has a thickness of a quarter inch. Uh, probably should be a little bit thicker. Nah, a quarter inch looks okay. So let's keep that. And we can see that our inside edge is beveled. <clears throat> or, sorry, our bottom edge is beveled. Our top edge is filleted off. And if we run around that off again, we can. So let's try. And, well, let me do that. No, there's just too much geometry going on. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, there you go. We have made a coffee cup using a couple of different features that we've done so far. We did uh, some extrudes. We did offset planes. This is just a really good practice piece on how to do everything leading up to shell um, and what you can do with it from there. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Hopefully make your coffee cup all right. If there's any pieces you want me to make in particular or something would be a really good idea for on shape, feel free to throw that down in the comment section. Uh, until then, stick around for the next videos. We are officially about 10% done, and so we've got a lot of interesting things down the scope. We're just going to meticulously go through the rest of these features before we start doing some full-scale machines uh, with some uh, uh, automated pieces and then also those drawing files as well. Okay guys, I'll catch you later and see you on the next video.